Item 10, number 5640, sub A. Chairman Jacquard. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. 5640, substitute A, by Representative Corbesi, is an act that would uh, uh, make changes to the energy efficiency charge cap uh, and the 2018 state energy efficiency program plan. The issue that was brought to us by the Energy Council of Rhode Island is that uh, the taxes, basically, that are paid into the energy, it's the energy efficiency charge price has gone from zero dollars to 120 million dollars in the course of the last 17 years. Actually, even less than that. Most of the, that big money like that, it comes from businesses and where we have to be careful that we're providing uh, our businesses with the lowest cost energy uh, that we, we can uh, because it's certainly an issue in this part of the country for businesses. Um, so the Energy Council of Rhode Island came to us and said that with an argument that the current law uh, the, the energy efficiency programs that we have they're studied they have reporting requirements, but all of the parties to those uh, reporting requirements and studies have their own incentives to exaggerate how good they're doing uh, for various reasons. Virtually across the board, everyone does. So they were saying that it's not a bad idea to have you know, a, a vibrant energy efficiency program, but we should, we should study it, make sure that it truly is energy efficient, and these businesses that are paying a lot into this program are getting what they paid for. So it was uh, a little far-reaching in the original bill, and the Office of Energy Resources came up with this substitute A, which all it does is they say that they will do the study. They will be responsible for it, beginning on page 4, line 31, and they will conduct a thorough analysis. The expenses will be borne by the, uh, the, the fund that funds these energy efficiency programs, uh, and that they will report their findings by April 30th, 2018. And then we're able to set our goals more in a better manner by having good, uh, a good reliable study that no one can say uh, could be skewed in any, any way. So they're also, they also agreed, the Office of Energy Resources, that it would be a good idea to simply cap the 2018 uh, expenditures at the 2017 level until we've had a chance to look at this in uh, April of 2018. It's a good bill. I move passage. Chairman Jacquard moves passage. That is seconded by Chairman Corvesi, Representative Johnston. There are no lights. Clerk, unlock the machine. All those in favor, please vote green. Those opposed, red. Lock the machine. 58 in favor, zero opposed. The act prevails. Next item, clerk. 